Good afternoon. Once a Raider, always a Raider. Never been more appropriate than today. I'd like to start off by reintroducing some members of the Raider family. First, our head coaches, mom and dad, Jim and Kathy Gruden. I especially want to uh, thank Kathy Gruden for being one of my biggest cheerleaders in this process. Although they couldn't be here today, they're watching at home in Tampa, and I'd like to give them a big hand. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce, excuse me for a moment here. I'd like to introduce the wife and my biggest cheerleader, my other biggest cheerleader, Cindy Gruden. Finally, please welcome the next generation of Grudens, Deuce, Michael, and Jason. Without the support of the entire Gruden family, we wouldn't be here today. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for helping to make my dream come true. Please welcome the head coach of the Oakland Raiders, Mr. John Gruden. I'd like to thank uh, Mark Davis, uh, thank Mrs. Davis for this opportunity. Um, I used to get phone calls from Al Davis at 3 a.m. Now I get them from Mark Davis at 3 a.m. But I want to thank you for this opportunity from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank you, Cindy, my wife, my three sons, for supporting me uh, in going after this opportunity. And it takes a family effort, I think, to be all in on something like this. And I'd also really like to thank all of the Raider players that are here today. Uh, I saw Charles Woodson. Brady fumbled that ball. <laughs> Tim Brown, Howie Long, Russell Maryland, Eric Allen, Jerry Rice, Jim Otto, Ted Hendricks. Uh, it's, it's about the people for me. And that's a big reason that I'm here today. Obviously, this is very emotional for me. I never wanted to leave the Raiders. I never thought I'd be back, but here I am and I'm ready to get to work. And I just want to say that there's really uh, four major reasons that I am here coaching today. And number one, I love football. I love the players that play it. I love the preparation. I love the journey, love football. And I love the city of Oakland. I had a son here. Um, some of my great memories in life are in Oakland, and I want to give them two of the best years of football that I can possibly help deliver. And I love the Raiders. The brand is global. Everywhere I went as a Monday Night Football analyst, the Raider Nation would come out of the ground. I love the Raiders. And most of all, I love to win. And I'm going to do everything I can. No guarantees, no promises, but I want to win. I look forward to working with Reggie and his staff. We've got a lot of work to do. We've hired three coordinators already. Paul Gunther from the Cincinnati Bengals is official. Great addition to our football team. Rich Basaccia will be our special teams coordinator from the Dallas Cowboys. And Greg Olson will be our offensive coordinator coming over from the LA Rams. Uh, so I can't wait to get started. And it's an emotional time for me, but I'll answer any questions I can. Thank you. You know, the reality is I haven't changed much at all since 1998. I really haven't. I'm not a real deep philosophical person. Um, I've always loved football. I've wanted to come back. I've prepared to come back. Um, I'm ready to roll. I'm just ready to go. I'm at a point in my life where I need another challenge, and I know I have a lot to prove, and uh, I'm eager to prove that I can do it. But, um, yeah, I've been thinking of a lot of plays. And when I met Derek Carr this morning, I, I thought of a few more, just so you know. <laughs> he has a great arm talent. He's athletic. He's got natural leadership skills. He's young. He's in his prime. He's healthy now. He's, 
I think, been in a lot of different systems. He's played for a number of different quarterbacks. There has not been a lot of continuity around him that way. I think he's got a huge upside. I think um, with Greg Olson and the system that we're going to put in place is going to demand a lot from him, and I think that's what's going to unlock the greatness in him. But um, very, very excited to have him as our quarterback. You know, I've never met Marshawn Lynch. Um, even as a broadcaster, I asked for Marshawn Lynch in production meetings. I never got to meet him. <laughs> so uh, I'm anxious to sit down with Marshawn and meet him. And uh, we'll talk about his future and the Raiders. I can't wait. He came back to the Raiders for similar, I think, reasons that I did. I think he loves Oakland. I think he loves the Raiders. And guys like him interest me. So I'm looking forward to talking to him. Coach, this is your first pick in 1998. <laughs> uh, Charles Woodson, I'm with uh, the Oakland Raider alumni. <laughs> All of us just want to know, is there a no trade clause in your deal? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make me want to go home, Charles, back to Florida. Uh, there is a no trade clause. Now, all I want to say to you guys is, is I want to say this to you guys, all of you. It means the world to me that you're here. And uh, you're welcome. As long as I'm the head coach, all of you are welcome here. I want you guys to be a big part of this uh, Raider organization. And uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your attendance here today. Some of you guys were actually on time, unlike <laughs> when I was coaching here. But there's a lot of young players out there, I know this, uh, that have untapped potential. And we have to tap it as soon as they walk in these doors, and I need your help to do that. But thank you guys for being here. I'd just like to say I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to unite with them. I never uh, wanted to leave. I'm thrilled to be back. I have a great opportunity, and I plan on doing everything I can with this opportunity. And uh, let's, 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 let's go, man. That's what I say to Raider Nation. Let's get going. Let's, let's quit talking here, and let's get to work.